What's up everybody, Andy here. So, adjust the brightness a little bit. There we go. Oh, wait, the wait a second. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, so here we have my two primary consoles. My Xbox One and my Xbox 360. The, sorry guys, I'm just adjusting the brightness a little bit. There we go. Now, these are both manufactured by Microsoft. And I'm an Xbox fan. If I, well, for those who have different opinions, that's, that's, that's all right. This is, this is, this is up, this is up here, the opinion here. Also, I have facts to back it up. Now, the first console that I have down here is my Xbox 360. And there's my Xbox One. The Xbox 360 was manufactured between Intel 5 and 2016, according to Wikipedia. And this was discontinued worldwide in April 2016. So if if you all have if you have a game have an Xbox 360 console prior to this continuation, congratulations. And here's my here's my Xbox One S. You can see on screen now. Now. This is the Xbox One S. It's smaller than the Xbox One itself. This was released on August 23rd, 2016. The same year as Forza Horizon 3 came out. Now, I got this console way back in 2017. This came with a bundle. The console and a game. Forza Horizon 3. This was a digital download with a code on it. So, yeah. Yeah, it's two for one deal. Got the console and the game. Now this is now, as you can see right here, this is a seventh generation console. This one is a current generation console. Now, for the Xbox One S, last year they've announced a digital version of the, of the um, Xbox One S called the Xbox One S Digital Edition console, and the con was there, there there's no disk drive all the games have to be digitally downloaded and a pro to this it was 50 bucks cheaper than the xbox one s itself so if if you're family and on a budget you can get and the digital console itself well here's the here's the problem i have to buy a xbox live gift card that costs 25 to 50 bucks each there's actually a $100 Xbox gift card. So if you have the money, go for it. Yeah, I think I recommend the console with the uh, disk drive. Also, uh, it has no tray like the 360. Here's the uh, disk drive itself. Now, under the hood, they're both Xbox consoles. I had this Xbox One S since 2017, so it's been two years since I had this console, and it's been five years since I'm at the 60. <laughs> Sorry, I had pancakes for breakfast. Now, the Xbox 360 is very compatible with original Xbox games. Such as SpongeBob, Sponge, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie game, and Cars, and Cars the video game, respectively. I think it's, I think it was ported to the 360 in 2012, according to the Xbox Live Marketplace. And for both consoles, I have one account on both consoles. If you buy an Xbox Live gift card, you can enter the code in one console and then you can buy games in your other console. That's what I've been doing too. Yep, both two consoles, one account. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. Now, for current generation consoles like the Xbox 360 and the Xbox One, 
had to connect it to Wi-Fi or like, like an well, you can connect it via Wi-Fi or an Ethernet connection. I connected to Wi-Fi. My gear set to like an Ethernet cable and and plug it into like a modem somewhere, like a and like a like one of those Ethernet outlet thingies. Yeah. <laughs> But Wi-Fi, well, you can connect, you can connect both to Wi-Fi or like an Ethernet connection. That's from, well, that's that's what I do. Now, for me, these uh, these two consoles have been working perfectly, except for. Except for Xbox One, because my, my my original XR hard drive crashed, causing the console to crash. I think as well. So, <laughs> thankfully, I got a uh, another external hard drive. Now, for the Xbox 360, they have removable hard drives instead of like external hard drives, no doubt. Now, I think the Xbox 360 had like a four, uh, four gigabyte version. It could hold like two, like two videos and like a video and, two, and a few songs on there. Your phone has more drive space than that. Well, it's well for me. It, for well, granted, it's pro to provide your own drive space. You can get an external hard drive for like one of those sixty gigabyte. Th uh, one of those 60 gigabyte thumb drives and for the original Xbox 360 released in 2005 memory cards were on there <laughs> that's right yeah yeah like the 360 had yeah memory cards on there just like the just like the Wii the GameCube and the PS2 had memory cards thankfully we have removable hard drives and external hard drives nowadays now for the power supply the Xbox One has an internal power supply for the Xbox 360 has an external power supply let me show you if, I, if we can get back here see that right see that uh, see that light right there that's the external power supply for the for the, uh, for the 360 if we uh, let the if we uh, turn the brightness up right there that's the external power supply for the 360 now for connectivity to your TV the Xbox one has HDMI output for the 360 it has both AV composite video, uh, AV con uh, connectivity, like these uh, uh, these plugs right here, the yellow, white, and red plugs that go go uh, they go on the back of the TV. If we look, AV that's that's for my Xbox 360. So if we turn it on. Start start it up now. Yep, that's the three Xbox 360 logo. So now, granted, it has a HDMI output, but since my TV has no third HDMI output. Had to make do with my uh, a my uh, a v output. Now my first, well, I had three consoles. My the first one was way back in twenty ten. In mom in my uncle's room. It had a old tube, it had like an old tube TV. 
which I plugged in my 360 and it worked. Besides, those two TVs are are a, uh, are cheap to buy are cheap to buy these days. What the what the fuck's it doing? What the oh god damn it! Son of a bitch! What the fuck? There we go. Turned on finally. You have a three at three consoles. Two yeah, two of them, uh, two of them broke on me, and this is the one I had, which I'm, lo which I'm a lot more careful. And the issues were, the disc, the slid in inside the uh, console, it was jammed inside. So I'm, I'm a lot more careful this time around. So let me check the, uh, the uh, disc drive here. No disc inside. That's that's good. Now back to the Xbox One Digital Edition console, which means that no disc is gonna slide in and cause damage to your console. That's like an that's like an that's like another part right there. Now my 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 conclusion here. Both of these consoles serve me well. They they still work. You got you 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 got you got you gotta love current generation consoles. So anyway, hope you guys in, so anyway, hope you guys in, hope you guys enjoyed this a uh, video about my two consoles here. See you guys next time. Bye guys. Peace out.